what's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna give you eight tips on how to become the best salesperson. If you're new to this channel, my name is Will. I'm gonna give you the exact strategies on how I took my income from basically being at zero, completely broke, struggling with like a drug and alcohol problem. I was a complete mess on how I currently earn $300,000 per year at my W-2 sales job, working for somebody else. I don't own my own business. I don't have to fulfill on the products. I don't need to have overhead. I literally show up every single day. I speak, talk to clients, and I close deals. So first things first, let's hop into it. Step number one, you guys have to make a decision in your head that you're going to earn more money. It's not enough just to want it. And I know that sounds cliche, but you need to understand how much money that you actually have to make. If there's people in your industry that are, are making more money, you know it's possible. So get super, super clear on exactly the number. So make a decision to make more, and also you need to know the exact number on where you need to hit, because we're gonna reverse engineer it later on. Number two, guys, the best athletes in the world, they train every single day. You're no different, okay? You need to train at least once a day or every other day for five minutes in the morning. It's simple. You don't need to do some long, you know, drawn out role play for one hour. Okay, it's a quick in the morning after your morning routine, you're gonna role play for five minutes. That's it. You don't need a partner. You can do it by yourself in the comfort of your own house. Number three, you guys need to write up every single customer. You cannot close a deal without them being written up first. So no matter what the person's telling me, I'm gonna write them up. I'm gonna fill out that application. I'm going to put numbers in front of them because I need to push through the process to close a deal. Guys, I can't tell you how many times people told me, I'm not buying today, I'm not buying today. I just pushed forward, I wrote them up, and they ended up buying. Number four, repeat the offer. Repeat the offer multiple, multiple, multiple times because the thing is, is people, they don't understand what they're even getting, what kind of offer, what kind of deal you're giving them until they hear it at least three to four times, okay? So a lot of you guys, will say the offer one time and then basically just go into conversation. Cut that shit out, write the offer and bring it up over and over and over again and really just drill it into their head because they need it to understand what kind of deal they're even getting. Number five, ask for the close. I can't tell you how many prospects, customers that you probably have in front of you that are just ready to buy that you just simply never ask for the close. In fact, it's not enough just to ask for the close once. You need to ask for the close at a minimum, I think, a minimum of five times. Now, I know that sounds a little excessive, but it's not. The customer needs your service. They need it more than you even know, and they need to be asked for the business. People don't generally just say, okay, cool, I'm ready to spend money. It doesn't ever happen that way. They need to be asked for. So ask for the close at least five times. I guarantee you that will increase your sales more than you even know. Number six, always, always, always agree with the customer. I call this the golden rule of sales. For whatever reason, a lot of salespeople, when there's back and forth going on, they fall out of agreement. That is the number one thing that you do not want to do. It doesn't matter if the customer tells you, hey, you have the ugliest face in the world. You gotta agree and you say, okay, absolutely. Hey, Mr. Customer, I totally agree with you. Thank you so much for pointing that out to me and then you move on with the rest of your pitch. You always want to agree no matter what. If I can instill and drill in one thing in this video, that would be it right there. Number seven, you need to follow up at least 10 times with that customer. A lot of people, they come into the dealership, they come into your store, they, if they inquire, they send a lead in online, you call them, you didn't close a deal, and for whatever reason, we only, as salespeople, tend to, we hunt for new business instead of following up with the leads that we currently have. 70% of the money is gonna be made in those follow-ups. They already know you, already want your service, so it's extremely easy just to pick the phone up and and give them a follow-up call. And number eight, this is what I would say to anyone that stayed this far into the video, this is really what's gonna separate you from those pushy, annoying salespeople that are average. Because the whole goal of this video is I can hopefully make you above average. I don't, you know, nobody wants to be average. I certainly don't wanna be average. And here it is. For number eight, you need to ask questions, but most importantly, listen your way into the sale. Okay, well, what does that mean? A lot of salespeople, they talk way more than they listen. The customer is going to tell you exactly how to close them if you just 
listen. All right, guys, I hope you got some good value out of that video. My only goal out of making these videos is to help you become a better salesperson. I don't have a course to sell you. My only goal is to be the person that I needed when I first started sales. So it doesn't matter what you're selling. If you need help, I have a few things in the description that are totally free. You can get my cold calling script free and my five most common objections and how to handle them word for word. You can literally just copy them word for word. You don't need to be creative and come up with anything new. And if you got some value out of this, please drop a comment for your boy. Give me a like. If you want me to continue making these types of videos, it would really help me out a lot. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.